welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Saturday so it is grocery haul day. This week I just went to Walmart but it was a good trip to Walmart because I found a lot of great new food finds that I'm super excited about. Walmart tends to have the best new food finds it seems like. So I picked up quite a bit this week and I'm excited to share it with you. So if you're excited for today's video, give it a big huge thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and lets me know to keep doing these grocery hauls for you guys. And if you're new, I'd love to welcome you and I'd love for you to stick around. All you have to do is hit the little subscribe button and ring the bell next to it. That way you're notified whenever I upload. Grocery haul day is always on Saturday so you don't want to miss out. Check out the description box down below where you're going to find my custom 2021 calendar. Hundreds of you have ordered these and are loving them and it's not too late. I still have a few more in stock so head on over and grab yours for the new year. While you're there you'll find my nutrition coaching options which is macro and calorie calculation personalized to you. If anything I highly recommend this so you know what you should be eating every day to see maximum weight loss results or maintenance if that's where you're at. You'll also find 30 and 60 60 minute coaching sessions so that I can help you a little bit more one-on-one -on -one if that's what you're looking for as well. So check that out down in that description box. You'll also find links and discount codes to my very, very favorite things and my Facebook group, which is another amazing community that would love to have you. So head on over and join us. So let's jump into this week's grocery haul meal plan and meal prep. So here is this week's grocery haul. I just went to Walmart only because I didn't eat a lot of produce and that's generally why I make a trip to Trader Joe's. So I went to Walmart and I'm glad that I did because I found quite a few new food finds that I'm pretty darn excited about. So let's take a look at what I picked up for the week. Then we'll go into my meal plan and what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. Restock of paper plates. We were almost out and this is the best price at Walmart, you get 300 plates for about $10. So you definitely, definitely can't beat that. And then I needed just a few bottles of kombucha. I still have a few left from last week. So I have the Synergy Golden Pineapple. I picked up two of those. And then the Synergy Ginger Berry. So between what I have left over from last week and these three bottles, that's enough for the week. I did an entire video on kombucha on my second channel. So if you're wondering the benefits of drinking kombucha and if it's something you should implement, definitely check out that video over on my other channel. I'll link it down in the description box for you. Picked up a big bag of bacon bits. Troy wants a breakfast type of scramble for lunches this next week. So he wanted bacon in there. And this was about $5, which is a great deal for nine ounces of real bacon bit pieces. And then you guys know my obsession with Ourobora water. I usually pick these up off of the Thrive Market. And to be honest with you, they are much cheaper on Thrive than at Walmart. But this flavor, basil, and berry. I have seen this on their Instagram page and it is not on the Thrive Market yet. So I decided to pick up two cans to try it. So far, I love all the Ourobora waters. And you guys know that Thrive is always linked down in the description box as well with 25% off of your first order as well as a free gift. They don't have this flavor. So I'll let you guys know what I think of it. I'll put it here on the screen because I would have tried it before I edited and uploaded this video. So I'm super excited about those two flavors. I needed just a little bit more cream cheese. I still have one pack, but I needed a little more. So I picked up the one third less fat, great value. And then I needed some non-fat Greek yogurt for a couple of recipes. You guys know that I eat my dairy full fat. However, when I'm cooking, I don't mind using a zero fat or low fat yogurt to save on calories and points. So I picked that up. And I am pretty tired of my snacks. I've been eating the same snacks for quite a while. So you'll see in this haul that I found some new snacky things that I picked up just to change it up a little bit. And so I decided to grab two of the Cleo bars in strawberry. I love Cleo bars. And I just grabbed two because they're a little bit high in points. They're six points, but only 140 calories. And they're really, really delicious. It's like chocolate covered cheesecake. And they're a dollar at Walmart. You can't beat it. And then I did pick up an 18 pack of eggs because we are about out of eggs and these happy eggs organic are my all all time favorite turkey breast tenderloin. I have a recipe coming out this week that is a turkey pot pie with the stuffing crust. It sounds amazing. And it actually called for turkey breast, which I couldn't find. So I opted for the tenderloin because 
says it's actually lower in fat, calories, and points. So it may even lower the points of the initial recipe that I had figured. So I picked that up. And then a restock of my all-time favorite ground beef. This is the 93.7. This is grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef. And three pounds is only $18, a little under $18 at Walmart which is such a fantastic price. So I picked that up, I'll throw it in the freezer, that way we don't run out of our ground beef. For Troy's breakfast bowls for the week, I picked up this mild cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese, full fat, it's two cups, I figured he could have half a cup per day, and he works four days a week, so that should be perfect. And then this big roll of pork sausage is also for his breakfast bowls. This was only $4 at Walmart, which is a great deal. He prefers lots of meat, so I'm going to really bulk it up with the pork sausage, and then we'll put some cheese on it. And then I also picked up these hash browns with onions and peppers. That's going to be the base of the bowl. So you can see I picked up two bags just so that he has a decent amount in the bowl. So it'll be hash browns, cheese, pork sausage, and bacon. So it'll be a nice, delicious, packed lunch for him. A restock of our organic jasmine rice. This is my favorite brand. I love the Lundberg brand, and I always buy my rice organic because rice is heavily sprayed with glycosate, which is the active ingredient in Roundup. So it's important to buy it organic, and Walmart has a great price, less than $6 for the bag. Here is a new snack find. So I saw these Nutter Butter Bites. These were with all of the trail mix and the nuts at, at Walmart. So these are the cashew ones and it says seven simple ingredients, gluten-free, dairy-free, poppable, sweet and crunchy snacks made with natural peanut butter. One ounce is 130 calories. So I thought that these would be a nice snack. They do also have three grams of protein, which isn't a lot, but they'll be a great healthy fat snack because they're made with peanut butter. And they also had them with peanuts instead of cashews if you're not a cashew fan. And then some slow cooker liners because I'm completely out and you guys know without my oven I'd been doing a lot of instant pot slow cooker type dinners so I ran out of my liners and best price at Walmart you get eight liners for four dollars which is a really good deal. And this week I'm going to be making a pot roast and I was looking all over for a pot roast seasoning. They only had the ones with the cooking bag included and I'm going to cook it in my slow cooker so I didn't need that. So this is the liquid version of the Montreal steak, 30 minute marinade. So I thought that I could add this to the slow cooker with the pot roast just to kind of season it up. I think that'll be really, really good. And it's 10 calories per tablespoon. I actually would count this as zero points. Self-rising flour for a recipe. I was so bummed out that they didn't have the gold medal brand. So I ended up having to go with the great value brand. Prune juice for Troy. We don't need to talk about it. And they didn't have very much in the way of creamer. So I ended up getting this sugar-free Italian sweet cream. You guys know I'm not the biggest fan of sugar-free anything, but I really am low on coffee creamer. So I had to pick this up. It'll be a change of pace for me. Definitely not something I would generally buy. I would just go with the full fat, full sugar one. But a girl needs her coffee creamer in the morning. A restock of the Del Monte fruit cups. These are the no sugar added. We've been loving having these on cottage cheese and we are out of fruit cups. So this is a great deal. I can't remember the price. I wanna say $5 maybe. And it has a four pack of peaches, pears, and mandarin oranges. These are zero points because they are no sugar added cups. Some whole milk for a couple of recipes this next week. I always just buy the smallest one that I can find. Chicken broth also for a couple of dinner recipes. I don't quite need a full box, but it's more affordable to buy the box versus the cans. So I picked up this organic great value chicken broth. Here's another new snack. Now I love nuts for the healthy fats aspect of them, as well as they're great for on the go source of protein, but they are very, very easy for me to overeat. So when I saw these wonderful pistachio multi-packs, so there's nine individual servings of pistachios in the shell. They also have them without the shell. They are 130 calories per bag and all that is in this is pistachios and sea salt. So I'm excited to have this as a kind of different snack this next week and it's portioned out, which makes it so that I don't overeat them. I kind of enjoy taking them out of the shell. I feel like I eat them a little slower. So I bought the ones in the shell, but you can also, again, get the ones without the shell. And it was $7 for nine packages. For Troy's lunch, and then if I feel like having these as a snack as well, these are the Captain Crunch Oops 
all Mega Berry snack pouches. And again, portion control when it comes to these things. These are 60 calories per package. So I thought that that wasn't a bad deal. 12 pouches for $5. So I picked those up, again, just for something a little bit different for both him and I. So these were on the clearance rack at Walmart. These are the Planters Natural Beer Flavored Peanuts. This whole can was only $1.50. It's 150 calories per serving. I don't know the points. I didn't even scan them. I'll put them here on the screen, of course, for you guys. But I can throw these in Troy's lunch. And again, these are just a good, easy snack to have on hand. I will have to portion these out because we talked about me and portion control with nuts. A can of Healthy Request Cheddar Cheese Soup. They finally had a restock of their soup at Walmart. The last couple times I've been, there's literally hardly been any soup on the shelf. So I was excited to find this. A big loaf of French bread. This is for a dinner recipe this next week. It's only a dollar at Walmart, which is a great deal, and it is so soft so incredibly soft so i picked that up in the deli section at walmart everything else is produce just a bag of organic mixed veggies this is for a dinner recipe a couple of big packs of blueberries for breakfast meal prep and this huge ginormous i mean and i mean ginormous english cucumber for troy he actually asked for cucumber slices in his lunch this next week so that is everything that i picked up with the exception of a case of beer from walmart let's jump into my meal plan and what you guys are going to be seeing on monday for meal prep because i finally have a working oven yay we are in the week of 123 through 129 can you even believe January is almost over. Freaks me out. So today, Saturday, we'll do out to dinner. I don't know what we're going to do. We have some really good frozen pizzas. We'll just kind of have to see where the day takes us. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm making a tater tot casserole, but a taco version. Stay tuned for this recipe in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Monday, I'm doing a turkey pot pie. That's what that turkey tenderloin and French bread was for. Tuesday, of course, is a leftover night because it's a jazzercise night. Wednesday, I'm making a halal, I don't know if I pronounced that right, chicken bowl. So this is kind of like a spin on a chipotle bowl with chicken. I'm excited for this. Thursday, we'll do a pot roast in the crock pot. That's what I bought the Montreal marinade for. And then Friday is always leftovers as well, just because let's be honest, I'm tired by the end of the week. And we have leftovers from previous dinners in the week to eat up. And here's what you'll be seeing on Monday in meal prep. My oven is officially fixed. Hallelujah. So we are going to do a blueberry French toast casserole. This was on my meal prep list a couple weeks ago before my oven broke. I can't wait for this. It has cream cheese and blueberries. It's going to be amazing. And then for lunch, I'm actually doing a cheesy chicken and cauliflower rice casserole. I like cauliflower rice. My husband does not. So it's a great way for me to sneak in some extra veggies and make a dish that I'll just eat throughout the week. And for dessert, I'm going to make those two Smart Point ginger cookies, those soft, delicious ones. Again, that was on my meal plan before my oven broke. And a lot of you reached out and said, you're excited for this recipe. So you'll see all three of these in Monday's meal prep. So stay tuned. Thank you for joining me on this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my new snack food finds. I'm actually excited for snacks again, which is amazing because I've been kind of bored, like I said. So I'm excited to try out these new things this week. So if you enjoyed today's grocery haul, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And of course, if you're new, I'd love for you again to stick around and join the community here on YouTube. Just hit the little subscribe button and the bell next to it so you don't miss a single video. Make sure you're checking out the description box again for the calendar, nutrition coaching, links and discount codes to my favorite healthy things. And of course, my Facebook group. We'd love to have you over there as well. Happy Saturday, my friends, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. It is my what I eat in a week points versus calories. You're not going to want to miss it. See you then. Bye.